think I started mucking about with code when I was probably 14, 15. I was a child of the late 80s, early 90s. I was raised on 80s style hacker movies like war games. PC in every home was kind of becoming the new standard. So for me, that was the lifestyle. I was living the dream. My name's Craig McGuff. I'm a senior engineering manager at Circo. The company's been around over 20 years now. So, so the tech has evolved uh, significantly. We've gone from monoliths to microservices to containers. It's very much in the .NET world at the back end, uh, React, Next.js at the front, uh, and we're consolidated uh, primarily on, on Microsoft's Azure stack. We broadly provide platforms to, to two main classes of vendors. There's the, the managed travel sector, which is companies like Flight Center that utilize our products and our platforms to sell business travel services onwards. And then our unmanaged travel business, which is more of a B2C type engagement, uh, which is where uh, our engagement with Booking.com for business comes in. So, so the platform manages all of the business travel requirements for Booking.com for business clients globally. In our main stack, we, we have a bottom of the funnel analysis that really captures when clients are coming through different workloads in our system that, that represent different customer flows like hotel search or shifting from hotel search to the details in Booking. We can see at a glance, something's happening that's impacting search, for example, and we can dig into that and see, is it an underlying infrastructure problem? Is it something else that's going on? So it gives us sort of a total visibility into what's happening at each stage of our funnel, and that ultimately drives conversion. New Relic was in place before I joined Circo. For a long time, it was, it was really APM alerting, the, the usual sort of things that most companies would be would be using. I'd say, however, over the last year, we, we've really branched out more into browser infrastructure, synthetics, workloads, and SLOs as, as the driving areas. We have SLOs on most parts of our system, uh, and those workloads are set around sort of core customer flows through the product. So we have that proactive ability to see what's impacting customer flows through the system and to address it in advance. I think historically, you know, you'd set up your logs and your alerting and, and then everyone would sit back and wait for something to happen. And, and, and that was deemed to be observability. But it's, it's not observability unless someone's watching. Um, and so really bringing that mindset of observability as a practice, not observability as a tool. When you move to more of a proactive stance, people are looking in advance, they're seeing problems, they're fixing things before they happen, which ultimately frees up time for, for engineers to be more productive in other ways. One thing that I've been vocal about is, is the relationship that we have with New Relic as a partner. I think the training and the services that you provide around your systems are second to none. 